Hey cuties, welcome to Makeup Friday. So for today's look, we're going for a more sprite inspired look. I don't know if you guys saw my last look that I posted on Instagram, which I'll post a picture of right here, but it'll be something kind of like this, but it'll be more blue, purple, and this color. So we're gonna figure out and see how that's gonna look. I already have my moisturizer and primer on, so we're just gonna skip straight into the base. For foundation, we're gonna be using the Tarte Shape Tape. While I'm putting on my foundation, I wanted to tell you guys a couple of things that I think are a little bit exciting. One, I'm gonna be coming out with for real merch this time. I've made some false promises in the past, but I found a company that I actually really, really like. It's called Bonfire, and I'm gonna be making some merch with them that I should be releasing here pretty shortly. So keep the lookout for that. The merch that I'm gonna be releasing with Bonfire is Be Smiley Not Gloomy merch. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you would know that I've been saying that at the end of my videos for literally years. And so I figured, you know what? That's like a cute little quote. Like why not make some merch from it? If you guys want it, I'll make sure to tweet out the link and I'll post it on Instagram and on my stories, on Snapchat and on Instagram. And of course I'll mention it in a YouTube video, make a little announcement. Now going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. While we're blending out my concealer, I want to just bring up the fact that I've been so active. You guys better be so proud of me because this is going to be my second upload this week. I'm going to stick to my Monday, Wednesday, and Friday schedule. Don't play me. Every Friday is going to be a makeup video. Every Monday is going to be like a reacting to TikToks or like a random something, like just like a random whatever I feel like video. And then every Wednesdays are gonna be vlogs. So be freaking ready. I, you guys want me to be honest and tell you why I decided that I was gonna start doing this and like really just going ham. So I don't know how many of you guys are bored with what you're watching on YouTube because honestly I feel like nobody is making anything that I want to watch or really anything at all. I feel like everybody just kind of quit and went to Instagram unless they're doing like reality TV shows and I'm like sis I'm on the internet. If I wanted to watch TV I would turn on my TV like you know what I mean? So and that's no shade to Keenan and JC because I actually like theirs. That's just shade to like other TV shows. Basically I'm just freaking bored with what I'm watching on YouTube. So I'm making videos that I would want to watch. And I hope that you guys will want to watch too. <laughs> and if you do, make sure you click that subscribe button. Now I'm going in with this Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm like, y'all bake. I bake, bake. Like I've been baking. Now I'm just wiping off my bake using my big fluffy brush. Mood. Now I'm about to start going in with some of like the eyeshadow and stuff and starting to actually do the look. And so here is like the inspiration. I made this on Facetune so like don't judge it. And it's also like not going to be exactly like this whatsoever. But this is like the basis that I'm going off of. Starting off with the green eyeshadow on my eyelid in the shade Shock Factory from MAC. I'm just going to be taking a whole bunch onto my brush. And then I'm going to wet my brush and hope for the best. Now going in with a smaller brush with the same shade, I'm just gonna be putting a little dot right in the center of my eyes. Now taking this brush, I'm gonna be going into this blue shade from my MAC palette, and I'm gonna start lightly carving out where I want the top of my cheekbone to like set on both sides. What inspired me to come up with this look, literally, you guys are gonna hate me. I, <laughs> so the name was from Wizards 101. Yeah, I love Wizards 101. I have always loved Wizards 101 and I will forever love Wizards 101. I'm like, should I throw in another day of the week where I do gaming, play Wizards 101, Minecraft? Ooh. So the dark sprite name comes from this mob in like literally in Wizards 101 that is a dark sprite, it's a dark fairy. And I think it's so cute. Even though this look has nothing to do with it, this is my take on if I were to have designed the game, what 
I would have made the dark sprite look like in real life. This is going to be my first time being able to use my new BH Cosmetics palette. It's the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil. And I've seen such amazing reviews about it. And I was like, I have to because I didn't have any purple shades. Can you believe that? I had zero matte purple shades. And I was looking at this palette and I was like, you know what? They have a whole row of matte purple shades. So I was like, I must get that. I must get it now. So guess what I did? I got it now. And I'm sorry if you hear barking. That is my special needs doggo. Her name is Belle. I, we call her Bear. Well, I call her Bear. Mama calls her Belle. Or, no, she just calls her Belle. I call her Bear sometimes because she screams at me so much. So I'm always like, chill out, Bear. Like, chill. I don't know. And I'm sorry if you guys can hear her. <gasps> can we note? I don't know how many of you guys follow drama on Twitter or whatever, but that Brooke person that posted the video of her spitting and hitting her dog, excuse me. Like, I don't mean to put my nose where my nose does not belong, but mm, that's kind of disgusting of you. Like, <laughs> I don't mean to like point fingers and like, judge or whatever but like that was pretty f disgusting of you and your apology don't care still disgusting but you were being so mean to the doggo the doggo just wanted love and cuddles maybe like Derek what are you doing like, why are you doing that like that looks so bad and I'm like just trust me You guys are wondering if I keep using different shades. I don't. I'm still using the exact same three shades that I pointed out. I'm now putting some of the blue into my eyebrow and just dragging it down into the no nose contour thing that I've been doing. Now going in with more of the green eyeshadow just to extend it out, like I said, into the purple and the blue areas. Starting to look kind of crazy. Taking some more of the purple. Just gonna start adding it onto my nose. And then also going in with some darker purple and adding it to some of these areas for the contour. You might be like, Derek, what's your tactic now? Because it's kind of looking like a mess. Well, let me tell you. My tactic is to continue to blend it and wing it and hope for the freaking best, man. Now, once again, taking the darker blue, I'm going to go around my jawline. And it's supposed to look intense, so don't attack the jawline. And, like, it's supposed to look intense because my jawline sharp fake sharp. Now going in with this green shade from the BH Cosmetics palette, I'm going to be putting a little bit right here, which I've already done, and adding some to the inner of my eye because I think it kind of adds like a crazier green pop. And honestly, this look needs a little bit more because I'm bored with it. Even though it's crazy, like I'm still kind of just like, mm, and then also going in with the green, I'm going to be putting a little bit in my eyebrows just for a little fun spunk. You might not even be able to see it that well, but I mean, why not try it, right? Now also taking the green, I'm going to be making some fake freckles with it because I feel like that's just going to add an element of like fun that I don't even know if you can tell on camera because I've got it set kind of light, but I'll tell you, you can definitely see it like when I take pictures something like that I just feel like it's gonna be that little subtle mm. now going back in with my setting powder I'm gonna bake my contours on either side just to make sure that they are nice and cut 
And now it's time for these Walgreens lashes. So I'm just gonna like cut screen these on because these take me forever and I can't be bothered to try and do these on camera. So let's just like... The lashes are now on! Do I look like I could fly away? Cause I should. And now I'm gonna wipe off the bake. Hopefully it's done her job. Now going in with CoverGirl's Exhibitionist Mascara. I'm just gonna be using some on my bottom lashes because gotta make sure that they look good. Gotta make sure that you can even see them. I mean, I'm supposed to be a dark sprite, you know? Dark sprites have bottom eyelashes too. Time for the almost last step, which is lips. I'm gonna be going in with this blue metallic shade from Smashbox, just cause I think it will really help finalize this look. Now for the final step, I'm gonna be using my all-nighter setting spray to make sure everything stays in place and does not move. Aha ha, I lied. Final step is highlighter, and I'm gonna be using the Diamond Glow Powder from Artist Couture in Mermaid Fantasy because it's this beautiful, like a reflective greeny blue color, and I truly just, I live for it. It's like, actually blindingly insane. So I'm allowed to put the highlighter in quite a few places this time. I'm allowed to get a little bit adventurous because if I'm supposed to be like a fairy, like a sprite, right? Like a pixie sprite, I'm supposed to have sparkles everywhere, right? That's like math mathematics. So this is my finished dark sprite look. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave a nice little comment down below and subscribe to me. Don't forget to ask me a good question. And yeah, I think I'm gonna start answering some of your guys' questions because at the end of every video from now on, I'm gonna be doing a little one to two minute Q&A. So if you guys would like to ask me questions, you can ask me questions down in the comments below on my Instagram, just in the comments of any random picture, which is at Derek Kildall. And you can also ask me them using the hashtag Derek's QA on Twitter, or my Twitter's at Derek Kildall. How long have you been on social media? Too long, honestly, too long. Who's your biggest inspiration? Honestly, um, the clown from American Horror Story right now, so. <laughs> Who or what inspired you to start YouTube? I've been doing YouTube for so long, genuinely, like I, at this point, can't even remember. <laughs> like, I was posting in, like, middle school. I know O2L and, like, them people, they made me want to start YouTube. Like, O2L then. Like, Connor Franta. Who's your favorite celebrity? Rico Nasty. Because recently, my style has been... I've been trying to go for, like, a gay, white Rico Nasty. And I hope that I've been living up to that kind of, like, fun, spunky 80s rock vibe. I've been just trying to live it up, live my best. Like I only live once, right? Like I might as well go hard. Can you answer this question on your YouTube? By the way, I love you. Of course I can answer this question on my YouTube and I love you too. <laughs> How are you so pretty? I don't know, good question. <laughs> okay, I love you guys. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed and be ready for Monday's new video. Bye bye.